Oh, hey, let me see your hands. Bert, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right here. Get on the ground. You, Bert, you shark, get on the ground. Over here. On the ground. In South Carolina, that man in the white shirt and his disabled cousin behind him in red have every right to be terrified. On the ground! The Orangeburg police officer... Get on the ground! ...is on a power trip. Do, do you not listen? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! There's a gun behind me! Why did you stop my head for? said the victim, Clarence Gilliard. Indeed, Officer Dukes did just stomp on him. A gun, I believe, behind me. I ain't got no gun, nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Is there a gun back there? Ain't no gun. By that truck. Ain't no gun. You're not listening, dude. In this July 2021 incident with Officer David Lance Dukes, Orangeburg Police had received a call about a man knocking loudly on a door carrying a gun. Bro, you got a gun on you, man? No, I ain't got no gun. Right, I don't want no gun. Oh, my God. Paul, do you watch him say? He had something. I ain't on no front. The door's unlocked. No, he was right here. Watch him. Go watch him. There it is. All right, that's what he had. But that's not a gun. It looks like a makeshift tire changing tool. All right, who's the complainant? All right, get up, get get him up. Put your leg up. Twenty five cents. Got one time. Right. Put your leg that way. So you can stand up. You. All right, listen. I'm about to help you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right. Yep. Listen. Yep. They slammed my head listen. down on the cement. Yep. Go back inside. Go back in the house. Go back in the house. Ain't nobody talking to you. I got head drummer. Go back in the house. Yeah. Y'all bust my head down. Yeah. I've been in an accident. Yeah. Y'all bust my head down. You threw me down. I so did. You wasn't listening. Yeah. No, it ain't. You had to throw me down like that. I'm disability. Okay. I got As Mr. Gilliard talks about his injury, watch as the black officer on the right, Sergeant yep. Polidor, mentions to another Throw officer that they should step away and chat. Yup, you bust my head down on the cement. Uh, yup, you bust my head. All right, let me tell you what. His forehead. You bust my head down on the cement. He was, he was in front of the car when I came up. And he was walking like this. And I, I thought it was a gun at first. I said, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. gun. Had him at gunpoint. And he's over here doing something like this. You slammed my head. You slammed my head. What he was doing is putting this up behind the tire. So he comes over right here. He got his hands in his pockets. I'm telling him, let me see your hands, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. You head, he wasn't listening. No, it ain't. He got the, like this right here, and we went on to the ground. That's what Officer Dukes just told the officers he believed Gilliard had a gun and repeatedly told him to drop it. Dukes also alleged that when Mr. Gilliard stepped in front of the vehicle, he had his hands in his pockets and repeatedly ignored requests to show his hands. However, the body camera footage shows Mr. Gilliard had his hands above his head. And while Officer Dukes repeatedly asked him to get on the ground, he never asked Gilliard to drop a gun or show his hands probably because Mr. Gilliard's hands were visible throughout the entire encounter. You bust my forehead. Yeah, your head dig it, hit the cement. Damn right, could you bust me down on the cement? Where's the complainant? You bust my head down on the cement. Right here? No. You bust my head. You bust my head. Where's the complainant? I'm trying to get the name of the complainant. You bust my head. Moments later, after going through the items in Mr. Gilliard's pockets, Officer Dukes hears from another cop that nobody wants to press any charges. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody here want to press charges. Who called? I'm 
not sure. Uh, um, take him out of cuffs right now. I mean, because that's what we got. You have to use your force. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know what his intention was. That was a pinky high five of sorts while the white officer told Dukes to look at the body camera. Use the force. You need to look the camera. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The officer did wrong. Slam my head down. Brush my forehead. Damn right. I'm gonna pay me for that. Mayor, I'm going to take that into evidence of what he had. What? Well, I mean, his, you know, that's that's the reasons I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming from. Because when he was behind the truck, I couldn't see what he was doing. And I didn't know where, where that went. If it was still in his pockets when he come around that car with his hands in his pockets. But again, the issue was Officer Duke's use of force when Mr. Gilliard was already on his hands and knees surrendering. Get on the ground! As other officers noted in their reports, Officer Dukes stomped the man's head into the pavement. No, 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 that woman officer handed back Officer Dukes his cuffs. An EMT then stepped forward. As Mr. Gilliard described what happened, his cousin in the white t-shirt approached Officer Dukes. Dukes, can I get a car for me? I don't have one, man. We don't have one. They, they don't give us cars. Okay, what's your badge number? 1059. They don't give us cards. And that was a lie, as Sergeant Polidor points out. Let me see if I can get my phone. Hold on. Hold on. We, we, we have cars. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Brandon, he can get his stuff off the car. Sergeant Polidor gives the man Officer Duke's full name and badge number. Please say badge number. 1059. <laughs> Just two days later, the Orangeburg, South Carolina Police Department fired Officer David Lance Dukes. Two weeks after that, following interviews with other police and witnesses, prosecutors announced they were charging David Dukes with assault. A few days after that, local news reporters obtained documents showing the former Orangeburg DPS officer charged for the use of force incident was previously fired from the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. The personnel document said Dukes had created a hostile work environment and that his attitude was destructive. In other words, even before David Lance Dukes became a police officer in Orangeburg, South Carolina, it was clear that he was trouble. Nonetheless, kudos to the Orangeburg Police Department for acting so quickly after Mr. Dukes assaulted Clarence Galliard. Kudos also to Sergeant Polidor and other officers who were willing to tell the truth about this incident and provided Mr. Galliard's family the information they needed to follow up. One can only imagine the role that Sergeant Polidor's incident report played in causing her city to fire and charge David Dukes. Officers who witness police misconduct are often placed in a position where their honest reporting about a colleague jeopardizes their own career. Indeed, it is not unusual to see law enforcement justify the violent actions of their peers. But Sergeant Polidor showed courage and integrity and helped to hold Mr. Dukes accountable. Recently, the city of Orangeburg settled with Mr. Dukes' victim, Clarence Gilliard. The city paid him $650,000 to avoid a potential lawsuit. The money is coming from the city's insurance carrier. Let me be clear. When police respond to reports about somebody with a gun, it's understandable if law enforcement officers are nervous. But when a human being, regardless of their race or gender, has their hands up and goes on their knees to surrender to police, kicking that person is despicable and... It's a crime. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.